being alone in my third rehab is actually one of the biggest blessings that has ever happened in my life. Let me explain. This is where I ultimately ended up surrendering everything over to God and being filled with his Holy Spirit. Now, not everybody needs to go to complete rock bottom to make a change. A lot of people can get knowledge of themselves and their issues through other ways, and you can learn things and, and skip a lot of the suffering, but a lot of us have to go completely rock bottom to the end of ourselves to make a real lifelong change. And getting to that rehab wasn't pretty, but something inside of me was telling me I need to get to this rehab. Okay, it hadn't worked two times before, but this third time, something was just saying I needed to do it or this was the end of the line, I was gonna die. This was over eight years ago, but when I think back to those moments and how God met me there, it inspires me to this day to keep going because sometimes you just need to keep pushing through. That's the only answer. We can't see the way through, but we know that God is with us. And when we look in hindsight, we see how his hand was on our life, how he was moving things around to make a way for us. This might be an extreme example, but this is part of my testimony. And I'm here to encourage somebody else out there that you don't need to have it all figured out to move forward with God. And he's going to use whatever means necessary to keep moving you forward to the plan that he has for your life. But we need to surrender. And sometimes we won't surrender when we think we can figure it out. You see, that's why this experience was so critical for me because I realized I was at the end of myself and I could not move myself forward. I was at the brink of death back then. And when I got out of rehab, things didn't become easier. They actually got harder. I was getting fought by the devil. I was trying to find my way through as a baby Christian, trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this. What does God want me to do? But you know, my testimony is that God is faithful and he's going to lead you to your destiny. When you're surrendered to him, you are in a crash course, so to speak, with where he wants you to go. Like you cannot miss it because he is going to guide your steps. You need to put the responsibility on him and take responsibility for yourself. And when I say that, I mean put everything into God's hands and then walk in his ways. There were many decisions that I had to make about relationships, about jobs, and I was always scared on what to do, but I still did it scared. And God guided me and routed me through everything to where I'm at today. Everything has worked out great, even though at the time I might have been full of anxiety, but I had to go through it to see how God works, to have that experience, to see how he works in real time when we have faith, when our faith is low, whatever the case might be, believe me, it's all part of the story that God has written for you. He is going to prove himself strong in your life as long as you don't give up. Because God sees way into your future and he knows exactly what you need, even though it might hurt sometimes and you might feel like your needs are not getting met. God knows exactly what you need to go through in order for you to get to his promises and the promised land here on earth for your destiny and what he has decided your life is going to be like. But trying to fight against God is futile. We all try it, just like Kids sometimes rebel against their parents. It's kind of natural in us, but God is guiding us by his spirit. And that's what we are learning right now to operate in. At least for me, it's been hard to operate in God's spirit all the time. I'm learning each and every day and I'm sharing my journey as I'm going along. But to actually live a life walking by faith is going to take a lifetime to accomplish. So some of our biggest blessings don't feel like it when we're in the moment. But in hindsight, we realize that, wow, God is sovereign. 